Hello guys, you are given an exponential function y is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 to the x plus 2, right? Then you are told to sketch. So first and foremost, um, your a here is 3, right? So your a is positive, right? So that can also tell you something of where your graph will be or how your graph is going to be positioned, right? So it's going to be um, in this manner. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, guys, fine. Let us look now at the intercept of the graph, the intercept of this particular graph. You know, um, we never spoke thoroughly about those in the previous video, but intercept, the y-intercept, right? Um, you let x equals to zero. The reason you do that is because this is the y-axis, this is the x axis. The equation of this line is x equals to 0. The equation of this line is y equals to 0. You guys get that? So, when you are finding the y intercept, you're going to have a coordinate at the end which is 0 and something else. Alright? So, in order to find the y intercept here, you let x equals to 0. y is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 to the 0 plus 2. So this is 3, 3 to the 0 is 1 plus 2, so 3 plus 1, that's 5. So the y-intercept is 0 and 5, though that is the coordinate of the y-intercept. You guys get that? Okay, fine. And then the x-intercept now, you let y equals to 0. So you are looking for the, for the, for where the graph is going to cut the x-axis. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, 0 is equal to 3 times 3 to the x plus 2. Right? So, now we're going to solve for x in this. You know? So, this is going to be negative 2 is equal to 3 times 3 to the x. Um, yes. Okay, fine. So, basically... In, in our case, we can just divide by 3 both sides. Negative 2 over 3 is equal to 3 to the x, right? So now, is there any value of x that you can raise 3 to to get a negative number? And I kid you not, you guys, there is none, you know? So this one is not applicable. So there is no where the graph cuts the x-axis or it does not have real x values in this case right okay fine and then the asymptote guys the asymptote right the asymptote now remember we said um, exponentials have got the horizontal asymptote, which is y is equal to something. So, what is it? y is equal to 2 in our case. You know what I'm saying? So, we've got all of these. I think now it's time to sketch the graph. You know? Okay, fine. So, the y, the y intercept, there is it. Um, 5 right here. Okay, in fact, I was supposed to draw the asymptote first. y is equal to 2. Here it is 2. So the graph approaches y is equal to 2, but it never touches it. And then here now, where the graph cuts the y-axis, that's a 5 right there. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, you see here, it had nowhere where it cuts the x-axis. So that's why the graph does not cut the x-axis. So this is our graph, guys. Then now, what is the domain of this graph? What is the domain? The domain of this graph. So as far as the x or the state of x values are concerned, this graph exists everywhere. You know what I'm saying? This graph exists everywhere. Um, you can also write it like this. You can just choose, guys, which one you are more comfortable with between the two, but same stuff. So what about the range? Of this guy so as far as the range is concerned this guy um, is gonna be y greater than 2 remember at y is equal to 2 is the asymptote so you cannot include it here right or y member of 2 to infinity 
is that if the range you know what i'm saying so that's how you look at this thing then obviously here there is no axis of symmetry so you can just um grab a chill pill about that you know what i'm saying okay guys so i trust that this makes sense and then you guys are a we're able to appreciate the whole process so to just um seal the deal let's have a different um thing what what do you think the graph was gonna look like for example what do you think this graph f of x is equals to minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the x plus 3 you know what i'm saying i mean if we were to sketch this obviously this guy is is less than zero so your graph will, is not going to look like this it's not going to look it's not, it's not going to look like this but it's going to look something like this you know so um let's 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 find the intercepts here the intercept of this graph the y intercept now the f of zero is equals to negative three multiplied by three to the power zero plus three so negative three negative three times one plus three this is zero so zero and zero right okay fine and then the, the x intercept the x intercept of this graph so what do you have you've got zero is equals to negative three times three to the x plus three so that is negative three times times three to the x is equals to minus three so you can just um do your things with divide by negative three so three x is equals to negative three divided by negative three it's one right you know what i'm saying so if three x equals to one what value? what is x supposed to be what value or what value is x supposed to be that you can raise three to to get one so x will equals to a zero do you guys get that so the x intercept here is zero and zero you know what i'm saying okay fine so in our case we can just draw the graph uh, oh okay the asymptote the asymptote the asymptote the horizontal asymptote is y is equals to what there is it there y is equals to three you know so let's draw our function this is the y axis the x axis then y is equals to three here three and then um this is our function this is how it looks alt right there is our function of f of x right then here is zero and zero you know so that's how our function looks like the domain the domain i'm sure you guys are screaming this now x x is an element of real numbers then what about the range the range y is less than three this is the range of this graph you know and obviously it has got no x uh sorry it has got no axis of symmetry so i trust that you guys understand this if you do not please do not be shy to comment below or email me and then we can you know you know the vibes man i mean i can help you guys uh, crack this or if you've got any interesting questions you'd like me to do uh, feel free to contact me to stay blessed and have a fantastic day